Hello, this is a video on how to set up voice meter banana. Um, I'm just going to go over how I've got it set up and the equipment I'm using and hopefully this might help you because um, I found it quite difficult but once you get your head around it um, it's it's easier, easier to navigate. So first of all I'm going to talk about the equipment that I'm using. So I've got my microphone. I'm using this little Behringer uh, audio interface. I'm on input one. Uh, I'm monitoring just on my headphones at the moment, but I do use monitors as well. So that's my setup. So once you've downloaded Voice Meet of Banana, I'm not going to go through that today. You can get that sorted yourself. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up that audio interface to run through here. Um, so the first things I would say to do um, is to set up the Windows Sound. So the Windows Sound, um, you come down to the, the uh, kind of speaker down here and you click this button and what we're looking for is the voice meter input. VB Audio Voice Meter V A I O, and you want to click that and be on that one, and that should be um, that should be the desktop sound setup for the moment. Next, we are going to add our audio interface audio interface into Voice Meter Banana, and we are going to add it on Hardware Input One. So you can choose uh, WDM or MME. Uh, WDM didn't work for me very well so I'm using the MME. Um, I think you just get a little bit more latency on the MME. So you find your audio interface there and as you can see my voice mic has started to pick up in here. So now we've got uh, now we're telling it where to get the voice from we need to tell it how to output the voice. So I'm going to set mine up on out on A1. So it's hardware out A1. So you click it, find it again, and again you can use both depending on what works for you. I'm just so now I should have my audio interface um, coming through. So you should see. Uh, your meter over here. So once you have done that, if you want to try uh, monitor this, um, you just need to um, click on A1 here and that will then send um, this through to your headphones so that you can hear your own voice coming through. Um, I'll talk a bit more detail about this uh, later in the video. So now we're going to set up um, Skype on Hardware Input 2, but you can use Discord or any other kind of um, voice uh, chatting um, input and put it on here. So um, what we're going to do is we are going to use um, what is called one of their uh, uh, voice meters uh, VB audio virtual cables so I downloaded an extra cable and have had it um, downloaded and then what we'll do on hardware input 2 is we will look for cable output VB audio virtual so it's just a virtual cable you can download it from um, voice meter and we're going to click that it won't have anything coming into it until we've changed our settings in Skype so we're going to come over to Skype and I've got my settings here and as you can see um, we need to change um, Skype settings, we go to the audio video we need to change Skype's microphone to my audio, in, audio interface and as you can see it's picking up my microphone here and we also need to then change the speakers to cable input VB audio virtual cable which is the same as this one so that it knows how to route it and we'll do a quick test now just to check that this is working
Cool. That seems to work in fine. And um, once you've done that, you're set up for Skype. Um, I'll talk about the sends later on in the video. So we have now set our desktop sound or set up on um, our first virtual input and this is known as B1 and um, we are also going to set up Cubase under this virtual input so I believe you can do both at the same time it all runs well for me so um, in Cubase you will open Cubase I've already got it open I've got a project open and what you need to do is come up to studio studio setup and you're going to go down to VST audio system you're then going to click this down box and whatever one you were using before you're just looking for voice meter virtual ASIO which is B1 in voice meter banana so we're going to click that uh, I'm just going to keep it as it is at the moment because I've got it working and we should have our sound uh, coming through to us just have a quick check yep we can see here that's now coming through our desktop and on virtual input 1 B1 cool so virtual input 2 or B2 um, I've got this set up or, uh, on OBS so basically within here I can control what gets sent to OBS as my uh, streaming um, streaming audio so in my OBS settings audio I've done two things the first thing I've done is I've said I want my um, mic auxiliary audio to be voice meter aux output VB audio voice meter aux VAIO and um, that is um, getting all its information from virtual input 2 or B2 I'm then saying I want to um, have my monitoring device um, as voice p voice meter input vb audio voice meter vaio which is um, virtual input b1 and that is all you need to do for the, uh, the audio side of things in obs click apply click ok and that is set up now that I've got this set up, I'm going to show you a drawing that I've made to try and help navigate some of this. So here we go. Right. So I've got my um, voice meter banana here and it shows input one onto hardware input one for my audio interface. It's also going into Skype at the same time and then Skype is an outputting all of its audio into hardware, hardware input two. I'm not using anything on input number three. I've got my desktop sound and Cubase 10 on B1 or virtual input one. And then I've then set it up so that all of my um, audio comes out into OBS. I'm now going to talk about the different sends and levels that I have set up in um, Voice Meter Banana and just go through each input and just how it, um, how it works and what to expect from each one. Um, so hardware input one, audio interface. A1 enabled enables me to monitor through my headphones. B2 sends to my OBS stream. And there's a thing with the um, monitoring here. Uh, so if you've um, only got a mono mic, which I have, um, you want to enable this. Otherwise, it will just come through on the left-hand channel, which is input one 
on my um, audio interface. So you just click that and then it comes through on both speakers and more balanced sound. Hardware input two. This is where I've got Skype set up. A1 is to monitor all the sound coming through Skype. And that's all you would need to be enabled to have a chat with somebody. This wouldn't be going through to OBS. All you need to do to, do, to send this through to OBS is to enable B2, which will then send the link to OBS over here. Hardware input three is a spare. Virtual input one also known as B1 this is where I have Cubase and all of Windows sounds coming through voice meter aux um, or um, virtual input to B2 this is where I have everything going out to OBS and then I only have one hardware out A1 back out of my interface so that I can hear everything cool I hope this helps and I hope I haven't confused you more but um, if you've got any questions pop them in the comments and I'll try and answer them and uh, thanks for watching my video.